At home, we were taught that education was power, and we were told that if you got it in your head, no one else could take that away from you, and it was the door that would open opportunities. My folks always said, we want you to have better. We want you to do better. That's why we work so hard, because we want you to have access to things that we didn't have. Earlier, you said that uh, you did not attend segregated schools, but did anyone in our family? Our older sister, Bernadette, she was born in 48. Uh, Brown versus um, Board of Education was decided in 54. So for kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and maybe third grade, uh, Bernadette attended Washington School. And Washington School was a little further from our house than Parkdale, a lot further from our house th uh, than Lafayette. But she attended um, a segregated school, all-black school. You were one of the first female African-American graduates from Washington Law School. What did you experience as a lawyer practicing in Kansas? My experience was somewhat unique. I, I graduated um, May the 14th, 77, got a job June the 8th, and um, in September was sworn in, passed the bar exam, and I was hired as an assistant attorney general for the state of Kansas, signed to the Consumer Protection Division, so I had direct access to Kansas taxpayers, um, Kansas citizens. During my time at the Attorney General's office, I was there for 10 years, and then I worked for the county for 87 to 94, and then I worked for the city to 2001, and I always had pretty much um, positions where I was learning and I was being groomed for um, key management. So I'd be the, I'd start out as an assistant, and then I'd be the head attorney for whatever it was. When I started with the attorney general's office, with consumer protection, I talked to people on the phone, because these are folks all over the state of Kansas. I talked to people on the phone, I'd correspond with them um, in writing, and oftentimes it'd be necessary for me to go to court. You know, we got to go to their county, go to court, meet with them, you know, interview witnesses, those kinds of things take depositions, and, and I would always call ahead, and I'd say, this is Linda Jeffrey. Now, I need to be out in your area. I'm a black female. Am I going to be safe? Are there things I need to know about? Because I'm traveling by myself, you know. We're not mm -hmm. sending two people, and they were all honest. Sometimes they'd say, oh, there's not a problem at all in this area. Sometimes they'd say, well, we do have a few crazy folk in this county, um, but I'll be with you when you go do whatever, whatever, whatever. So I found the, the clients that I was working with to be willing to accept me because I'm, I'm from Topeka and I'm there to help them. And they recognized we were different. Someone would even say, you're the first black person I've ever seen. And, and I'd say, well, what's your impression? <laughs> well, you just like, you like anybody else. And I said, well, is that a compliment or not? You know, one of those kinds of things. But then there were some crazy people or strange folk that I would encounter, but I'd have my person with me, you know, the local person. Uh, and I remember we went to one town um, and I said, well, we need to get something to eat. And there were, uh, there was a cafe and I said, shall we eat there? No, we don't go to that one. Uh, that's a redneck, and, and, and we're running him out of business. We go to the one across the street. So we went to the one across the street. You know, um, we just, you met wherever you could meet. So, so that, that was okay. Um, Tell me this. What important truth do you take from the Brown decision? Well, the court in Brown said that 
separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. And from that to today, I see that integration, social interaction, full access to everything makes America the nation it should be. We can give people full access to information, knowledge, they'll excel. You try and hide something or withhold it, we'll never be the nation we should be. Is there a message that you would give or anything you want to say to those who listen to this? I'd say the same thing that my parents told me. If you get it in your head, education, no one can take it away from you. Knowledge with wisdom is power. Never, ever stop learning. And I'd add one additional thing. Show and express your respect and appreciation for educators. <laughs>